Fortnite Chapter 3 has practically removed almost everything from the last chapter, including the scar, which has literally been in the game since day one. And just when you think we get to keep one thing from the old chapter, it gets removed. Of course, I'm talking about the OG pump. Most fans can admit the new striker pump and auto shot these aren't exactly the greatest we've had in Fortnite, but luckily for us, Chapter 3 kept an OG weapon in the game, and not many people knew about it. While everyone else was scratching their heads, struggling to work with the new shotguns, Keynet players are going up to special glitch vending machines and actually getting the OG pump shotgun from Chapter 2. And then all you gotta do is save them in tents, and they were pretty much equipped for matches to come. But unfortunately, this trick didn't last long. Once Epic caught on to it, they secretly patched the OG pump, and it is now back in the Chapter 3 vault. Of course, barely anyone knew this gun was in the game, so even less people knew it was removed. And something we're still shocked that no one's found is the Mythic Goldfish. Let me tell you, this one is definitely a puzzle. One of the easiest things to overlook when a new Fortnite season drops is whether the rarest items in the game are still there. And so with Chapter 3, currently the hardest thing to get your hands on is the Mythic Goldfish. This thing had a 1 in 10,000 chance of dropping, and there have been people out there who've been fishing for weeks trying to find the Chapter 3 version of the Mythic Goldfish, but sadly, none of them have succeeded. It's safe to say that this item is probably completely vaulted with the new map, but hey, if you somehow find this thing, send a video to us that would make you the luckiest person in all of Fortnite. Another thing that people will definitely miss is the Quad Crasher trick. When we logged into Chapter 3 for the first time, we were shocked to see Quad Crashers just sitting there waiting to be used. It was an awesome surprise, and obviously the first thing everyone tried to do was fly with them. But not only did they invert the controls to throw us all off, we also realized that flying was much harder to do than before. And there's a reason for it. Epic secretly nerfed the flying trick so you can't do it infinitely anymore, completely vaulting the feature from the game. And while that sucks, something literally no one even knew was in the game was the shield keg. You're probably confused. What is the shield keg? Or you might be wondering, how could an item that isn't even out yet be secretly removed? Well, it turns out that Epic accidentally added the shield keg into Fortnite early, back on day one of the first update. People jumped into creative and discovered that it was just right there and fully usable. Creators ended up putting it in their maps. It was awesome. And then Epic unfortunately took it away after they realized their mistake. It all happened so fast that a lot of people didn't even know it was there in the first place. Kind of sucks, but something people were glad that disappeared were Raptors. It's safe to say that a lot of players are going to be overjoyed to know that Fortnite's Raptors are now gone. These guys were awesome when they were first added, but recently they became pretty annoying, especially when bundled with every other wildlife in the game. And considering they weren't much help to us, Epic quietly eated them off the map once Chapter 3 came around. And so another thing that really wasn't meant to be here in the first place was double pumping. Back in Chapter 2, a feature that no one was prepared for was accidentally added into the game with the exotic dub shotgun. The dub was a very special weapon in that it's the first time we've had double pump in Fortnite for years. And for the last four seasons, you've been able to use the dub with no delay and it has been amazing. But with Chapter 3, Epic secretly added the delay back to the dub, effectively vaulting double pump once more. Now you still technically could do it with the striker, but it's just not the same. It's not worth doing. Another feature fans love that was removed is shakedowns. If you dropped into chapter three this month and thought something felt like it was missing, it turns out something is. Especially when you go to pick up a down teammate. On day one, we were also fascinated with the new squad revive mechanic, and nobody noticed the shakedown feature was completely missing from the game. Epic removed this without telling anyone, and we only realized when some Kenai players pointed it out. And so while everyone has been focused on that, nobody is talking about the Hunter's Cloak. By far, one of the most forgettable and random items we've had in the last few years has been the Hunter's Cloak. This thing was useful for a solid few days until everyone forgot about it, and then it was vaulted in late Chapter 2. And then out of nowhere, Epic Games brought it back in the final few weeks of Season 8, and you were able to craft it for like 4 me. But with Chapter 3 now released, it turns out you could no longer do this, meaning the Hunter's Cloak is officially vaulted again. This probably means Epic doesn't want us to use it on the new dinosaurs that are coming out later this season. And something else you might have missed that Epic secretly removed are the RPGs. If you were a regular player last season, you might have enjoyed the occasional RPG match. Finding them in supply drops or legendary chests, it was always satisfying getting your hands on one. Except in Chapter 3, if you look around for a supply drop or a legendary chest, you might have realized that you haven't gotten an RPG yet. And obviously, there's a reason for this. They're not in the game anymore. Some people will be happy to hear this, as RPGs have always been a controversial item. But others will be pretty devastated. Hopefully, we get some better explosives this season as a replacement. But another thing everyone forgot about was nuts and bolts. Yeah, the community has completely overlooked the fact that nuts and bolts have been removed from Fortnite, with most people forgetting they even existed. They were added back in Season 7 so you could collect them to upgrade your weapons, except we were so used to picking them up and not thinking about them that nobody noticed they were completely gone in Chapter 3. But while all of the items on this list have been thrown straight out of the game, there's one thing missing from Fortnite that actually might come back, and that is the Imagined Order. Okay, so the Imagined Order have had a huge presence on the Chapter 2 map last season that it's hard to think of how we're gonna move on without them. Epic Games secretly removed every single trace of the IO in Chapter 3, from launch pads to cars, railguns to camps, everything was gone. 
It's why the loot pool feels very fresh and why the map is on a nice blank state. No random view wise, everything is good right now. Well, that is until the IO arrives on the island in a few weeks. Yes, they're gonna be drilling through the map and making their way back onto the island, bringing five IO outposts to the map with new launch pads and more. We're even gonna get a new POI called Covert Canyon. They'll bring us the mythic SMG and it'll essentially be the Grotto 2.0. Exciting stuff. But something that unfortunately ain't coming back are propane tanks. Last season, you could find the TNT and the propane tanks all around the island. They were in a few places on the map like the redacted bunker, but they went pretty under the radar in the later seasons of chapter two, which is why nobody has noticed they have been completely vaulted with the new season. We're definitely gonna miss them. Even if they went unused, they were the OG gas can and we hope to see them again in the future. Maybe if Midas ever does return, he could bring back TNT with him for some classic season two nostalgia. And if it's the nostalgia you're looking for, you'll be sad to hear about shopping carts and ATKs being removed. I mean, yeah, jumping into chapter three and finding the quad crashers was awesome, but these quads came at a cost. They were the replacement for two vehicles that were added last season, the shopping carts and the ATKs. The funny part is these shopping carts were secretly removed, but almost no one knew about the fact that ATKs weren't even in the game. It turns out that Epic accidentally added the ATKs as a glitch at the end of season eight, but it doesn't matter anymore because they are gone. Hopefully we see more OG vehicles in chapter three, like the baller or the drift boards, but until then we're gonna mourn the icy grappler. While we all thought the shopping cart was in season eight for a short while, it had nothing on the icy grappler. This was a limited time exotic weapon that was only around for less than a month. It arrived just in time for the winter season, and then when chapter three released, it never stuck around. We all thought that with chapter three's map being 50% snow, we'd at least keep the icy grappler, especially for the holidays. But no, Epic didn't think it was worth bringing over. I'd assume because of Spider-Man. And so with all of these secretly removed items forcing us to adapt to the new meta, there's one removed feature that would truly change the way we play Fortnite from now on, and that is collision building. You may have been playing chapter three, going around, doing your own thing, enjoying yourself, but this season, have you ever gotten to a build fight or just had to defend yourself and the wall would in place? We're so used to being able to place walls literally anywhere you want, so the fact that the game is giving us red builds now, it's odd, right? Yes, it turns out that Epic has turned off collision building and that's what's causing these. They've secretly removed the ability to build inside of things, so now you can no longer build near certain trees or other mountain areas. But by far, the most annoying thing with these red builds is trying to stop a llama from running away. Half of the time, it doesn't even work. But whether collision builds have been turned off because of a glitch or on purpose, it is making the game feel very different. There's now a risk every time you enter a build battle, you have to worry about whether your walls will even place or not. But whether this feature gets brought back or is gone for good, it's making the current meta very interesting. And that is just one of all of these secretly removed items. There are some surprises on this list and features that people just forgot existed in the first place. Oh! Hopefully we can look back in a few months on this video and see if any of them are back in the game, but until then we'll have to make do with what we've got. Were there any favorite items of yours that you're sad about getting removed? Let us know down in the comments, but it's been Tommy and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.